at Windsor Castle in May this year. Its release coincides with new details too from Buckingham Palace at the Queen's funeral service. Our royal correspondent Rhiannon Mills has the details. Just looking at that image, no doubt one that the family would have authorised and I think lovely to see her beaming from ear to ear. Um, the Queen Consort today reflected on her wonderful smile and her, her sparkling eyes. So, so I think the family very much wanting to show that lighter side of her, the mother, the grandmother, as tomorrow, of course, we will reflect on her as this remarkable head of state. And that will certainly come out through what will be this huge state funeral that will unfold uh, starting here in central London and then making its way uh, all the way to Windsor. As you said, we have had some more details through uh, in terms of the orders of service. For first of all, the funeral that's going to happen at Westminster Abbey and then also the committal service that's going to happen uh, at Windsor. So first of all, in terms of the funeral service, we now know that Prince George and Princess Charlotte are going to join the procession inside Westminster Abbey. Now, of course, we've been so used to seeing other members of the family taking part in those processions and vigils, but I think it will be one of those moments where people draw breath as they see those two very young royal children also involved. Um, the palace, however, not wanting to that to distract from celebrating the Queen herself. Also, the choir is going to sing a psalm which was composed for the Queen's coronation. There's going to be lots of intimate touches, I think, within the music. Lessons are going to be read by the Secretary General of the Commonwealth and also the Prime Minister, Liz Truss. And the Queen's Piper is going to play Sleep Dreary Sleep ahead of the coffin and the procession leaving the Abbey. Now, as I mentioned, that's the first element of tomorrow, and then we move to Windsor. There'll be a procession through central London, and then the hearse will be taken uh, to Windsor, of course, to St George's Chapel, where we saw Prince Philip's funeral. And in that service, the choir is going to sing the Russian Contagion of the Departed, which was also sung for the funeral of the Duke of Edinburgh. It has to be said, there's lots of... We've been looking at it, haven't, haven't we? There's so many other different elements um, within what we will see unfold tomorrow. For example, I think this will be quite a moment as we hear the Abbey's tenor bell that will start chiming every minute for 96 minutes to mark every year of the Queen's life. Also, the Lord's My Shepherd, that hymn is going to be sung, and that was sung at the wedding of Princess Elizabeth and Philip Mountbatten all the way back in 1947. Um, the committal, so what we'll see in St George's Chapel, um, you spotted this one earlier, some of the music in that service uh, was composed by Sir William Henry Harris, who was the organist at St George's Chapel between 1933 and 61, and apparently taught the young princess Elizabeth to play uh, the piano. But as we saw with Prince Philip's funeral, I think the moment that will stand out undoubtedly at the end of the committal service will be that moment when we see the Queen's coffin finally descend into the vault, the last moment that we will see the coffin, which has obviously made that very long journey from Balmoral here to Buckingham Palace, then to Westminster Hall, finally to Westminster Abbey, then to Windsor. Um, and as that happens, uh, the words go forth upon the journey from this world a Christian soul. I think it will be um, a moment where many will stop and, and reflect on, on just what she has meant to so many around the world. Rhiannon Mills speaking to me a little while ago and uh, tomorrow's papers are uh, of course looking ahead to the funeral including the mail, their headline, our last farewell. And you can scroll through the front pages while watching our press preview by scanning the QR code on your screen now. Joining us from 11.30 this evening will be the...